Hi guys, Joe from AdSenseFlippers.com coming to you with some competition analysis tips using Long Tail Pro. Uh, first thing is, you know, I would select, I would create a campaign that's just kind of a placeholder campaign so you can quickly do competition analysis without having to interfere with any of your root keyword research um, that you may have saved for something else. So go ahead and just create like a dummy campaign, I call it competition analysis. And the great thing about Longtail Pro is you don't need to put keywords in like you do like Market Samurai. Go just click on competitor analysis and then type in your keyword, hit analyze, and in a few minutes it will pop up. Um, second tip here, make sure to expand your Longtail Pro window to the maximum size. because You really want to be able to see these columns um, in in all their glory. So you want to be able to expand them uh, and make sure they're big enough for you to see everything. And if, if it's in a minimized window or a smaller window uh, on most laptops or screen sizes, you're not going to be able to see uh, everything that you need. So uh, I went here and I picked a keyword called resin jewelry. Uh, resin jewelry uh, is a keyword that we're not going to go after, but I'm going to tell you why. Uh, and the reason why is because of title match, which Longtail Pro makes it very easy to see. Um, as you can see, it puts it in bold, and you can see there are several sites that have it uh, in the title, um, it, the exact match keyword. Uh, they also have it in the URL, resin jewelry, uh, resin jewelry, and jewelry resin, kind of there. Um, they have these sites have page rank. Um, they do have links. So you know, with the difference between this site being a three or a possible four, um, those numbers that scale is from Justin's uh, keyword research part two. Um, uh, part 8 SEO competition uh, where he talks about our scale which is a 1 to 5 scale 5 being very easy 1 being very difficult um, you know he said sites like Etsy and Amazon yeah those are usually easy to beat but the thing that's gonna make this uh, a 3 instead of a 4 is the fact that the top ones the 1 to 3's those you're not gonna be able to beat those I mean these are real sites um, that are well SEO'd, uh, they have page rank, they have the, the keyword in the description, they have the keyword in the title, they have the keyword in the URL, um, you're probably not going to be able to beat those. Um, and if you look at the Google results, um, you know, you'll be able to start to pick this stuff up uh, fairly easily if you have the Google results open in one window and then Longtail Pro in another, just to kind of get your mind looking for the right thing. Because Google does the same thing that Longtail Pro does. It highlights um, all, the, you, all the keyword matches, resin jewelry, resin jewelry, jewelry, resin jewelry. And you'll see that those sites are probably going to be pretty well SEO'd for these particular um, keywords. I, I don't even have to check the links to know that this is going to be a little more difficult of a keyword to rank for. So I'm back here again and I'd like to show you an easy keyword to rank for and how I found that using Longtail Pro competitor analysis. Um, the keyword is best natural deodorant. And you'll see that the, the first one is probably going to be fairly difficult to beat because it does have 194 in links. Um, it, it has it, the keyword in the title. It has it in the URL. But if we look at the second and third, they have very few in links. They have no page rank. Um, you know, those are indications of sites that are probably going to be a little bit easier to beat. Um, and, you know, that's a good sign. The higher up the sites are that are easy to beat, the easier the whole page is going to be to rank for. So you want your easy sites to be to be in the 1 to 3 area, not the 7 through 10 area, because you want to rank in 1 to 3. 
And so again, looking at uh, the search engine results page, which by the way, I'm coming from the Philippines right now, and so I want to get American searches. And I could use a proxy to do that, but what I've done instead is I've set up a server over at GoDaddy, um, which allows me to virtual desktop into, and it's like I'm coming um, directly from the United States. Uh, highly suggested, it only costs you about 20 bucks a month, and you can have a server right in the US. If you are doing a lot of these searches abroad, I highly suggest picking that up. Um, so again, if we take a look at this, although we see some title match here, um, we can see that you know these URLs will be extremely long and probably not affiliated uh, with the, the keyword directly. Um, so you know that makes this a little bit of an easier keyword to rank for. Uh, not a five, but but definitely a four. Um, and that's really a difference between how we pick threes and how we pick fours. Remember that it's about the top search results, the one through three, and how easy those are to beat. Look at title, look at URL, look to see if there's an exact match of your key phrase in there. Then look at page rank and look at Yahoo page links, not Yahoo links, Yahoo page links. So those are, you know, the one, two, three, four pieces of criteria. I'm really looking at with Longtail Pro that normally I'd have to look up manually um, and it would just take me a very long time. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching my tips on using Longtail Pro. I'll talk to you soon.